All right, what we got planned today is we're going to take a whole table apart and clean the surface of it, of the pin setting table. First off, we need to extract all of our tongs off the table. We need to use a T30 torque bit. We're going to remove all these screws throughout the base. There should be 10 of them. I'll remove a couple right in front of you here. I'll pull the tongs out and then I will uh, pause the tape and go do the rest of them. So you just uh, bring your arms together, come out from the base. Same thing here, you pull. Alright, I've got the tongs off the table. As you can see, the tongs are usually in these spots here. Everywhere where there's a hole, that's where the pin comes through. Now we need to go ahead and take out our geared teeth, tooth racks. Go ahead and pull out our front one here. Get it off the table. We need to set some paper towel down. Put it on. Pull out the rear one. Now we need to extract some parts to get anything else out. All right, now that uh, we've got those two racks out and I got you set up, I'm going to start removing all these gears, which would be on the 10-pin side of the table. Underneath the table, I'm going to show you here real quick, everything underneath is going to be Phillips screws, whether they are uh, Phillips number 3 or Phillips number 2. They're going to go all down that side. It's pretty basic. I'm not going to show you the underside part. Anything happening underneath, uh, you should know that it's going to be with a drill. So I got you set up there. So I got a number three in first, and I'm gonna got a number uh, a ten metric wrench here. I'm gonna put it on this. This is the front gear wheel. Let me let you see here. This is the front on the actual pin setter by the one pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and start extracting these. Go ahead and hit the rear one while I already got the 10 in my hand. is to do this. Alright, next I'm getting a 13 metric wrench here. Go ahead and take off the big, biggest gear we all have here on the table. Sorry, I'm not going to call out part names on this one. But that was the uh, large wheel I took out. Large drive wheel. I still got this 13. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off right next to the square shaft here. There's another uh, dry wheel on it. It runs with a 13. Now that I got those main gears out, I can pull out this geared rack. It's only uh, got teeth on one side of it. It's got your stop blocks. It goes to your SG switch, which is up here.
Going back to my 10 millimeter, and I'm gonna take off this. Let me, let me get eight millimeter first. Got an eight millimeter ratchet, eight millimeter socket. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the square shaft. There's a lock nut and a bolt on it. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. Up my square shaft from the square shaft drive gear. Just lift it off. Then I'm going to go back to my metric 10 wrench. on this one I'm taking off, or two bolts I mean with the lock nuts on the top. Now I've got the square shaft, drive shaft out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this square shaft up and out of my way. You notice in the videos a lot I do wear rubber uh, nitrile gloves. I just don't care for the uh, petroleum products to be absorbing into my skin. Blind and light in my face to help you see better. I'm going to pull the upper section of that out and down here. Get in the right position. Rawr. Come on out. Oh. Got it. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. There we go. Upper square section of that shaft. Last but not least, I'm going to take off these guide blocks. There's four of them. I'm going to switch my drill to a number two bit. Number two Phillips. Right. And extract. Stop. Removing Phillips screws from the bottom side. Last but not least, right here.
as far as I strip down the table, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that down. like the worst game of whack-a-mole ever. Uh. Alright, table's cleaned off. I'm gonna go through and clean all my parts themselves. That's going to take a while. That's kind of basic. Wipe down as much as you want to off of those pieces that you just took off, and we'll get back with you in a second. We'll go ahead and uh, stop it now. That's the disassembly and cleaning, and then we'll come back with reassembly.